What is going on everybody? Welcome back to NB Edits. Today, we are in the Green Bay area and we are going to be going for some walleyes. The last three videos, we have been down here mainly because it's the only river system that's really open. We uh, have the Green Bay, the Fox River, you have the Mississippi, and then you got some local dams like up by us, you have the Wisconsin that's just starting to open up. But nothing compares to coming down on the Fox River and chasing some early pre-spawn spring walleyes. It's really, it's not even spring. It's like not even mid-March here and uh, yeah the river opened up extremely early and we've been clapping some fish so you guys haven't seen the last couple videos go check them out but today we're down here with our buddy we've never actually fished with them believe it or not Austin but, uh, hello, going hello. On. today we're gonna we're gonna jump in his boat and hopefully see if he can put us on some fish he already missed a few um, so that's a good good sign we were fishing a spot we've never fished before but today's video we're gonna be throwing exclusively plastics. Last couple videos we've been throwing some blades, last one we threw a hair jig, today we're throwing strictly plastics. And uh, yeah, water's still cold. We're supposed to get like another six inches of snow tonight, so cold water, really slow presentation, working the plastics really, really slow, but that's the game plan for today. Real quick, before we get into casting, I wanted to tell you guys, it is extremely cold out here. If I pull up my phone and show you guys, you can see, Green Bay area, 31 degrees out right now. Really, really cold. Well, obviously, hands and feet and head and every part of your body doesn't like when it's cold. So, keeping me warm today, I got my Tidewe heated gloves. Yes, I said heated. You can see this little button here. Right now, I have it on just the low setting. This lasts hours, and it's keeping my hands really nice and warm. Uh, you can crank it up to high, but it's really, really hot. I don't need my hands sweating in here. I just need them to cut the wind, keep some warmth on them. So if you guys want to check out any heated gear, not just gloves, they got everything you could probably imagine. All heated. It'll be linked down below, tideweed.com. Go check it out. But yeah, I'm going to stop rambling, get the rod out, start the GoPros, and hopefully catch a fish. There we go. Felt the thump on that one. Doesn't feel giant, but came up and smacked it. It's <laughs> a good one. There we go. Woo! First one on the plastics. Woo! All sorts of revved up, as you can see. That one came up and just choked that plastic all the way down in that. Let's see if we can pop that out real quick. All right, there it is. Fox River Plastics, that chartreuse color. Go ahead and throw that back. First fish, again, not a giant, but really came up and thumped it. First couple that Austin had, he said it was a light bite, but uh, this one thumped her. Get that one back in the water. That one. Oh! Look at that. On. There we go. Saw that sun peek out, and I was like, you know what? I think we're gonna get a little bite window while it's sunny here. Look at that! Look at this. And we did. Yeah, this is probably one of the smallest ones I caught this year. Look at this thing. In the net, though. Woo wee! That is the juice right there, guys. Fox River Plastics. What is that? The donkey juice color? Is that what that said? That's the scent that's on oh, it. Oh, that's the juice. scent that's on there. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Well, it's my first time using the plastics, actually. Like, uh, you know, last couple times we've been out here, we've been using blades and we've been using hair jigs and wanted to try something new. Rob up at the shack told us, hey, you should really try these out. If you guys haven't been up there, check out the Swamp Donkey Shack. They got two of them now, one on each side of the river. And uh, yeah, things have been awesome, working great. Two fish already, back to back. Like you said, sun peaked out and we might have ourselves a little window here. Yeah. That way, like, I can try to start making it for myself in the tournament industry. Oh, like, yeah, oh, yep. Close to the boat, too. There we go. Not a giant, but it's a nice fish. In the deep. Yeah, moved out a little deeper, and there we go. Second hit, first fish. Still running the plastic. Look at that. 
came up and choked it. We love that. Not a giant fish by any means, but ooh, look at that dorsal all split like that. Sweet. All right, let's go ahead and dump them back. See you later, buddy. Go ahead, grab the rod, get her back out there. Wow, came up and thumped it. There we go. Swimming right at me. This feels decent. Unless it's hooked goofy, but I think it's a little bit better. It's staying down. Here he comes. I'm just gonna back up. Yeah, that's a nicer one. There we go. Just like that. Go ahead and one last look at her, send her back. Nicer fish, probably the nicest one of the day for us. Fat belly to her. She's excited, water's cold, I'm cold. Whew, guys, cold temps, but the fish are snapping. They're loving the plastics. Having a lot of fun out here. We're still waiting on first fish for Nick, but uh, I think it's gonna happen here pretty quick. It's starting to get a little bit dark. I think we're actually gonna stay out here late tonight and possibly do some trolling. So if we have some luck, you'll have another video to look forward to there. But for now, we're just gonna stay on them. They're liking the plastics, very, very slow presentation. We keep preaching that over and over here on the channel the last couple of weeks, but it's been staying cold. Cold temps, I mean, everything's just slow. There we go. Right below the boat. Yeah. Yeah. Staying down again. Decent one. Definitely more pale. Look at that fish, you can tell. Yeah, like fresh coming in. We were just kind of talking about this here amongst ourselves in the boat, but like these fish are fresh coming up compared to some of the ones that we're catching up here that are more resident fish. Very, very different color. I mean, just the pigment in this fish is completely different. Say goodbye to them. See you later, buddy. go I knew I would not get denied the whole day <laughs> first fish for me I'm gonna be honest guys it's been a while get the skunk out of the boat for me not a super big one but felt him felt him hit it already out didn't even have to worry about unhooking him yeah this one's a little darker than Brandon's last one first fish for me it's been pretty rough. We missed two the last couple. We got some fish coming up river. Um, the boat behind us downstream keeps on catching them. So these fish are constantly coming in and out. But first one for me. See ya. Also using plastics. I think we're only gonna be doing this for a little bit longer before we make some passes uh, trolling tonight, which I'm actually pretty excited about. So yeah, I'm gonna take a few more casts and. See if I can catch a few more before it gets dark. There's another. Hammered it actually. Not bad. Again. <laughs> yeah, they're barely nipping. Barely. Barely hitting it. Get a Ruiz. See you, buddy. Alrighty, guys. Well. I think we are going to wrap things up here for today's video. We are going to continue fishing. We're gonna stay out here. It's starting to get dark as you can tell behind me here. 
We're gonna try trolling tonight. I don't know if we're gonna have any luck. I'm hoping we do. And if we do, you guys can look forward to that video coming up soon. But again, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit that thumbs up button for us on today's video. Also hit that subscribe button if you guys are new to the channel. We've got a lot of content coming this spring. We've got a tournament coming up soon. We got a lot of things going on, but guys, we are gonna be absolutely pounding some fish. And it's still cold. Everything is still just getting started up here. We've got new fish that are just starting to come up river. Um, we're having a lot of fun. It's great to be out here as early as we are, but man, I'll tell you what, we've got a lot of great fishing content coming very soon. So again, we're going to go ahead, help Austin get everything all set up here. Stay tuned for the next one. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. New guys subscribe. We'll see you on the next one. Tight lines from NB Edit. <laughs>